Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate your laptop's battery for more accurate battery life estimates. So, we've all been there before if you own any tablet or laptop where you are constantly checking the battery symbol in the bottom right because you're concerned that it's about to go out on you. And if you've used your computer long enough, you might realize that the percentage is not always accurate. So, let's just say you had it plugged in for a while and then it's 100% charged, it says 8 hours remaining, and then you unplug it, a few minutes later it might say only 6.5 hours remaining, and you most certainly know an hour and a half did not pass between those two time intervals, so you might wonder why is it reporting such a less amount. So as we all know, if you treat your laptop's battery properly, its capacity will decrease over time. So it really doesn't matter what you do, but I mean obviously better maintenance, keeping it charged and letting it go all the way to nothing would definitely do a better job. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate it without any special software. So a lot of laptop manufacturers will actually include built-in utilities that will calibrate your battery for you. So usually these tools will just basically encompass a full battery check, disable power management settings, as well as doing a final check to allow the battery to run completely empty to see if the internal circuitry can get an idea for how long the battery is going for. So this is especially useful if you're going to be using your laptop frequently as most of us probably do and I would highly suggest if you're having battery issues after a very short period of time using your computer you check with your warranty and see if you're entitled to anything because batteries do go out and it can be definitely expensive to replace but on this tutorial it's more of a maintenance calibration here so we're gonna jump into it so the first thing I would do is personally make sure your laptop is, has a full charge 100% and then you want to just let your computer rest for a while. So we're going to go over a couple different ways. So one way, if you plan on using your computer while the battery is going down, I will show you guys how to go about that. And I will also show you guys a second way to test this. So if you just wanted to let your computer rest without any interaction from you. So two different kind of scenarios here. So rather than waiting without your laptop access for five or six hours, like in some cases you might experience, I'm going to show you guys how to work around that for your first test. So we're going to open up our power management settings of our computer. So we're going to open up the start menu. Just so I'll click on the start button one time. You want to type in control panel. Best match to come back with control panel. This tutorial will apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. So far, if it doesn't really matter what version of Windows you're running. So once we have this open here, we're going to go underneath hardware and sound. So just left click on that. And now you want to go underneath power options. So just left click on that. Now for whatever your plan is that's currently selected, you want to left click on change plan settings. And then select change advanced power settings right here. Left click on that. So we're going to move this window over a little bit so you can see where we're going. So since I'm using a desktop computer, there's obviously not going to be a battery setting in here. But there should be two settings for most people. There should be a subsection for battery. So if there's something that says battery here, just look for a little plus next to it to expand it. There should be something that says on battery and plugged in. Next to it, whatever it says, you want to just left click on the blue text, so it might say sleep or shut down. You want to change that to hibernate for both on battery and plugged in. And then you also want to locate something next to low battery level and then expanding that should be something underneath critical battery level. So you want to set on battery to about 5%. So I would recommend doing 5% for both of those as well. So there should be a couple of different things you're changing in here, but you want to basically set your battery to hibernate. And for critical battery level, you want it to go to 5% as well. And that would pretty much be if you wanted to use your computer while you were resetting it. So if you just wanted to step away from your computer instead, just let it go down naturally. This tutorial will cover that one as well. So if we go back to power options, so again, this is the second option here. If you just wanted to kind of let your computer do it on its own, just go under here. And now you want to go and select where it says change plan settings. Where it says turn off the display, I would recommend setting it to five minutes for the first one. So turn off the display after five minutes and then put the computer to sleep after 10. 
and then you would left click on save changes. Now if you're using a computer as a battery, there's going to be two rows here. It's going to say on battery and plugged in. You want to set both of them to the same thing. So what this is going to basically allow us to do is to calibrate our computer to run the battery almost to empty and then by charging it all the way up to 100% again, which I would recommend you guys do. So once you've gone through the full charge cycle of basically going down to nothing and then recharging it, we've essentially calibrated our battery. So it should give you a better indication whenever you're looking at the battery icon down in your bottom system tray. And as we all know, batteries don't hold up forever. They only are good for so many cycles of recharging. But hopefully this will give you a better indication of where your battery stands. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.